Good morning, people. Watch Woman 65, Lisa Boyce here with another teaching. Um, before I start this, I'm going to say something. I'm going to contend for the faith until the rapture or death, whichever one comes first. It don't matter to me. It does not matter to me because to die, to live as Christ and to die is gain. That's my thing. But I will fight for the faith and people's salvation, especially in this late day and age. We are at the brink of the rapture. Anybody with any ounce of knowledge or sense would see that. We are at the brink of the rapture. The rapture is about to happen. Okay. Um, we don't have time. Sorry about the light. We don't have time. There is no time to go about um, preaching a false doctrine. Because people have got to realize, they've got to learn how to rest in God's grace until we are redeemed. Okay? Um, now, I'm going to break something to you. Well, not break something. I mean, I'm going to tell you something about, uh, once again, the New Apostolic Reformation Movement. Because the reason why is because this is a Pentecostal movement that is infiltrating the church and there is an actual war going on between the gospel which is grace which is the true gospel and this heresy stuff and there are more than a few people out there that are preaching this and they think that they're 100 percent right and they're wrong Now, this is a new apostolic. Uh, this is what they're promoting. This has been going on for a couple of years. It's an actual war going on between the gospel and them. And like I said before, goes back to works versus grace. Law versus grace. But this is, this is pretty serious. And I found this article. I'm going to try to paste this uh, sermon from Rod Parsley. Now, when I give you a video or a sermon like this, pray before you watch it that you don't get suckered into it. But I want you to hear what's going on. And then I got another video of him telling people to sow a seed of $54.17. And I think it's in the book of, he's using uh, either Ezekiel 54.17 or Isaiah 54.17. I can't remember which one. But he's telling the people to sow that seed so they can have a breakthrough. You know, his ministry is called Breakthrough. But anyway... In an attempt to help people understand the new apostolic reformation false gospel. And by the way, anybody who's in this gospel, they need to get out of it. Because this is a cult. This is a cult. And I'm going to show you that it's a cult. I came across a sermon from Rob Parsley. In his sermon, he opens by using the famous Baptist minister, Charles Hatton Spurgeon, to smuggle his false gospel to his listeners. The new app, I'm going to say there's a new apostolic reformation cult preach a false Jesus. Remember what Paul said in the book of Galatians when he was speaking to the Galatian church. Anybody who comes to you, I don't care whether it's an angel or another human that preaches to you a false doctrine, let him be accursed. Anybody who comes to you and gives you another gospel other than the gospel that we have preached, let him be accursed. The New Apostolic Reformation cult preaches a false Jesus, false gospel, and New Age metaphysical teachings and strategies in an attempt to bring heaven to earth. This is what they're doing right now. This is why I am so eminent about letting you know what's out there so that you can be aware of what's out there and you can avoid that. What makes the presentation even more dangerous is that Parsi attempts to make his gospel look as though it's the right one. Don't they all? By teaching on false gospels, we should reject. 
the New Apostolic Reformation apostles, prophets, or so-called apostles, so-called prophets, and so-called teachers, if you want to call them that, often call on their false gospel, the gospel of the kingdom, promoting the notion that their gospel is living while promoting the concept that the biblical gospel, the gospel of grace, is dead. They will often lay claim that their gospel is alive because of signs and wonders accompanying their gospel. Don't believe that. See, it's a workspace thing. Now, this is his prophecy. I think I'm just going to put the one video in there, in the screen. I'm not going to put his sermon in there. I don't want you to hear his sermon. I changed my mind about that. He's dangerous. This man is dangerous. But this is his prophecy. Hear me prophesy today. There's about to be a divine distinction made in the church, a solemn separation in the body of Christ between those who truly belong to the living Christ and those who have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. The pressure to bow down is intensifying. It is becoming the catalyst for the Shadrach, Meshachs, and the Abednegoes of a new generation to rise up and become the living signs, wonders, and miracles of God. Those signs, wonders, and miracles of God and those alone are the amen of God to the gospel that we preach today. You see what's going on? Hold on, I'm not done. He goes on further to say miracles without message produce vain emotionalism, but messages without miracles produce dead religious philosophy. Can somebody shout hallelujah? End quote. This is what he just said. Now, what is he saying? What does this prophecy mean? He's prophesying that the false new apostolic reformation doctrine of the great civil war in the church The heretical doctrine was popularized by the New Apostolic Reformation Kansas City prophets, Bob Jones, the infamous Rick Joyner, who I just had the pleasure of exposing this week, and also promoted again by Todd Bentley at Lakeland's Revival. This is why the New Apostolic Reformation is a cult. And they're still promoting the idea that the new apostolic reformation should oppose Christian militarily. In other words, they're going to go after us by ways of military. They're militant ways. If they don't, if we don't bend the knee to the way they want to do church. You see what's happening? This is why it is my duty to make you aware of what's going on out there. That sounds like a severe statement until you decode what he means by the Shadrachs and Meshachs and Abednegoes of a new generation to become the living signs and wonders and miracles of God. He's promoting the heretical new breed doctrine of the new apostolic reformation movement. In other words, he's raising up a new generation to fight against us, the people who believe in the true gospel. We, we know that we know they're not going to win. They're hell bound. But nevertheless, it's a fight. Folks, I'm telling you today to contend, continue to contend for the faith. 
This man is a false, he's a demon just like the rest of these people. And that demon is raising up another army to go against us. This doctrine teaches that a generation of Christians, no, 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 no. I take that back. This doctrine is teaching that a generation of demons will become God in human flesh and will manifest Christ on earth in powerful signs, wonders, and judgments to cleanse the church and the world of all sin so Christ can return. That's their goal. Here they call them Christians. They're not Christians. They're far from it. The new breed are being promoted as the SMNA generation to judge the Babylonian church. Once again, showing hostility to biblical Christianity and the biblical gospel, which is grace. So not only do we have people on YouTube that's teaching a false doctrine, but we have the likes of this crap out there that's coming against us on every, every side. So this is what contending the faith means. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and rulers in high places. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. <clears throat> Excuse me, to the pulling down of strongholds. This is this is powerful, but that's what's out there. This is what's out there. This is why we fight, and this is why I continue to tell you. Keep your armor on. Stay worded up. Stay prayed up. Because Satan walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And there have been a lot of people devoured from Satan. And a lot more. I'm going to get into more of the new apostolic reformation movement because apparently they got a new doctrine and a new breed doctrine. So we're going to get into more of that and the people that are involved in it. I think I had said something about that when I exposed Rick uh, Joyner. Hang with me. I'm going to get into more of this. I just wanted you to be aware of Rod Parsley and his false doctrine and what he's promoting and what he's talking about. I'll be back later. Thank you.